crap. I've got 40 minutes to prepare another date night meal, so awesome. <laughs> and is that our date night meal falling apart? Yes, darling, it is. <laughs> What's for dinner? We've got some crispy rack of pork with a bellotti bean with uh, tomatoes, wild garlic and pancetta. It sounds like a mouthful. You know I love a mouthful. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. Roll VT. <laughs> And she's back. I feel bad. Back for another date night. Back for another date night. Getting you ready. Let's make it. Favourite flowers, peonies. It means it's May and everything is blooming and it's blooming great. I'm going to get a step away from the classics and I want to cook something really seasonal and fresh. So I got a veg box delivered yesterday and I had a bounty full of like cool seasonal fresh veg. We've got these beautiful bellotti beans. We just need to podge the beans out of the husks. Look how stunning these beans are. Super cute. I think they're also known as cranberry beans and you can get the dried version if you don't have them fresh. I think they'll be a really nice pairing with these tomatoes. So we've got some datarini tomatoes. So these are gonna bring like a great acidity, whereas these are gonna bring the texture. And then to balance out sort of a richness to go with the dish, we're gonna use some pancetta. Now to prepare the pork loin. Take out your uncovered pork that's been in the fridge for 24 hours and then cover it with a fine sea salt before wrapping it up in a foil boat. This is gonna take the longest to cook, so I'm gonna put this on first and it's just gonna go in my air fryer. I'm gonna put it on for 20 minutes to get a real blister on that and that crackling on the skin. So now it's all time to bring it all together. So I've already pre-seasoned the water with some freshly picked rosemary and garlic, and I'm just gonna place the beans in to simmer. You want double the volume of water to the beans. Season it with a touch of salt. So I'm gonna let that come to a boil, and then I'm gonna just leave it on a gentle simmer for about 30 minutes. Look at the color of the water. It's like the color of the beans has come off. Everything's cooking away. This is probably the most chilled I've been for any date night meal. Nice one, babe. Do you want a drink? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you knew that would bubble up. Solid. Well done. I don't drink though, so this is non-alcoholic. I'm definitely into the no drinking era of my life now. These are awesome. Lucky Saints, big shout out. Not an ad, but I just love them. Mm. And we actually have some wild garlic growing in the back of our garden. You can find this when you go foraging, but it's coming to the end of the season now. But I love it because it's got a really intense garlic flavor without being very overpowering. So I picked the leaves and given them a really good wash. I've taken away the stems and I'm just going to roughly chop them and saute them at the end and add them into with the beans. Delicious, can't wait. And the pork belly is roasting well. Let me have a quick peek. So you see how this has got a nice colour, it's start to blister. I'm just going to put that under a high heat now and get that really blistered up and check the inside temperature of that meat is cooked. I'm just going to brush some vinegar on there. This helps it blister even more. I reckon because it's already got a good blistering, I need to do this for maybe 10 minutes. I think that'd be perfect. Place a pan on a medium heat and add some extra olive oil, but only just a little bit. And then add the pancetta in to render. So you're just going to mix the tomatoes in with that pork fat, and you want them to blister, pop and burst. And now I'm going to add a bit of um, freshly minced chopped garlic, because um, garlic, wild garlic, minced garlic, is going to go with tomatoes and pork so well. I love it. And that goes in now. You don't want this to go in at too high heat because you don't want the garlic to burn either. This is going to need a good old crackling of pepper right now. It smells so good in here. I don't know about you, but every time I cook with tomatoes or fresh tomatoes or anything like Italian, it just feels like summer, which we're definitely lacking in the UK right now. These beans have had half an hour, 35 minutes or so. And some of them have gone a little squishy and some of them are pretty soft. Just give them a little gentle poke. Next up, I'm just gonna remove the garlic and rosemary from the 
the beans and I'm just gonna let them sit in that water to cool down. After a couple of minutes, I'm just gonna scoop the beans into the pan, but reserve that cooking liquid for later. And like with any sort of Italian or summery dishes, a bit of fresh chopped parsley goes a long way to brighten up that dish and help balance out those flavors. So I'm just gonna pop it into the pan and give it a good stir in. It's looking a little bit dry, so I'm gonna add some of that reserved cooking liquid into the pan. Wow, it smells so fresh. I can't wait to dive into that. I'm gonna check on my pork now. I've been letting that rest nicely. That should be that should be at the right temperature. All right, this is a very juicy piece of meat now. So just be careful when you take it out. Oh, tell you what, I'm gonna put the juices of that pork into the stew. Delicious. Right, time to plate. Because the base, the rack has just got this little bone on, I'm just gonna go in between the bone and saw down and then push to go through that crackling. And then you're left with this delightful pork chop. Oh, salty, but perfect. Usually I would season this, but because we did a salt crust, I think it'll be all right. Now it's just time to plate up the rest. So you can serve the bean stew separately, but I'm gonna place it underneath the pork. So all the juices of the pork is just going to mix and marinate and marriage together with that pork. I definitely need, we'll serve this, maybe some fresh like steamed asparagus would be perfect, but I can't wait to dive in. Now, if you like this video, check out our other crispy roast pork video. We do it with the air fryer. Check it out in the link. Um, if you also like this date night series, last week we did a steak and peppercorn sauce. Now, if you've got any other ideas for me to do for a date night series, leave it in the comments below. I do read them, so give me some suggestions. And I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. I'm gonna go enjoy this and the rest of my date. I'll see you next week.